All right, you pile of turkeys, while you're up there, what solar panels should I put on the roof? The ones on the solar panels. You think I should take, yeah. take the solar panels off this boat and put yeah. them up here? And that should just have and pedals. Just and just make that a pedal boat? Yeah. yeah. And I just can... steal all the stuff from there and put it on here? Yeah? Except the kid box. Well, yeah, I won't take it. Out. Okay, so definitely a possibility. I could take these solar panels and put them up there. If I do that though, I want to make sure I can flip them upside down so they're not always in the sun. Because these solar panels are the plastic ones, the flexible solar panels. They don't last as long as the glass ones because the surface here is plastic. However, if you keep them out of the sun most of the time, then they do last a really long. And the big advantage of these over the glass ones is that these are a lot lighter. <sighs> Although they don't have high enough voltage to charge the batteries I'm gonna have on that boat. So I'd have to put at least one glass solar panel up there to charge the batteries. And then if I put these, I could just run the motors directly off these. I, you're right, I could put two glass ones. Two, uh, two glass ones in the front. <laughs> the front up there? Yeah, the front up here. Man, that is a good looking roof. So not slippery at all, eh? Nope. nope. Sweet. I can, it I does can, flex a little bit under your feet, I, I can see. Although if you know where to step, it won't flex. See where the seams are? Yeah, step with where the seams are and then halfway between the seams is where it's going to be strongest. Yeah, if you always step there, see it's really strong, it doesn't flex at all. You don't weigh enough to flex it at all, so it doesn't matter. All right. You do. Yeah, I can make it flex. There, there won't be any dance parties up there, but people can definitely go up. Okay, back to the solar panels. Maybe I should get some measurements on these and just draw out some possibilities. Get some measurements on the glass ones that I might put up there. Just kind of figure out what I want to do. All right, what's the width here? Oh. I need to use imperial noodle units because the roof, those sheets are four by 10 foot sheets. All right, fine. We got 39 inches by 54 and a half inches or imperial noodle units. All right, 54 and a half by 39, okay. All right, this is the smaller solar panel size, the bigger solar panel size, three of these will fit this way almost perfectly, overhanging by like a tiny bit. I can't fit four of those across. You know what, I think I, think I wanna go with the glass solar panels. They're a little bit heavier. However, they are more robust. And uh, yeah, I think that's the one. They're also the panels I took off the boat. Um, yeah. How do I mount these guys? So about a week ago, I, I came up with this Lego design and I haven't come up with anything better. I think this is what I want to do. So you know, they're connected like that, which means you can tip it up. Or, and that would be like to get it out of the way if people want to stand up on the roof and stuff. Or, if the sun is coming from this direction, I can tip it like that to get a bit more sun on it. And I like this. I could also have it go down over the side, but I'm not gonna worry about that. <clears throat> Mostly I want it to be able to do that. And that's kind of good because then it's like a railing for kids so they don't fall off the roof. Okay. So pretty simple making this with Lego. Slightly more things to think about when making it out of real stuff, but shouldn't be too hard to figure out the details. I guess the questions are, how does this hook in down here in such a way that it's easy to do quickly and stays well enough that the wind's not just gonna, you know, push it or, you know, mess it up in some way.
I don't quite have enough lock nuts to put on these, so I'm just going to damage the threads a little bit. Yeah. I should still be able to get it off if I really want to, but it's not going to just wiggle off on its own. Great. This silly table is proving to be extremely useful. Need to make sure I don't drill into my solar panels when I start drilling the frame. That should stop it. Didn't hit the panel? Good. Looks like I got the height here about right. It looks even with that one. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Just have to rivet those down and then figure out what I do with this end. I don't know yet. Something. Wait a minute, do I want to rivet those or bolt those? If I bolt them, I can put a nice fat washer on the bottom. I'll have more to hold on to. Although I'm not going to be able to get a washer in here. Yeah, I think I can only have only have space for rivets here. All right, those guys are on pretty good. scratching the roof. Right. And something where I can go like that. I don't know. This is less important though.
Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, what a good solution. Nice work, Jamie. Though all your brains were working today. I guess I better get the one of these on the other end. Look at that, locks right into place. Won't go anywhere. Nice. I had to make, well, I had to cut a piece of box tube, like a square, to get this angle piece. So I already have another one of these, which is nice. It'll go all the way on the other end. And for the the middle seams, there's gonna be there will be three solar panels. So there'll be two seams before the end. And for those seams, I'm going to just take the top off the box tube to keep a U channel, and then just do the exact same thing. And once one solar panel will connect into one side, and the other solar panel will connect into the other side. Beauty, like this one would connect here, and then the next one over would connect here. Yeah. All right, so that's all the details of these worked out. Now I can just assembly line it. Oh, just make a whole bunch of copies of everything. Maybe I will go get something to eat first, because it's like almost four o'clock. I skipped breakfast, and then I skipped lunch, and now I'm just hungry, but I want to do this. Oh, I love building things.